Oh, hey, what's up, you guys? How's it going? It's Papa, and today we're going to be taking a look at my Alter Guys deck profile that I am bringing you for the new Forbidden List that just came out a week ago. So, what happened during this past week is that I just went ahead and I tested a bunch of different decks online. I don't know if you've seen me, uh, probably not because I'm not that good. Uh, I've been telling you testing a lot of different decks online, so I have them all ready. I went through a bunch of different strategies just so that way I can bring the deck profile to you, make sure it's all nice and set because I don't like to bring you profiles that are crap. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some of these decks throughout the week and we're starting off with Alter Geist because it's one of my favorites and I know you guys want an update to it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just go ahead and take a look at some Alter Geist cards, shall we? Before we go ahead and jump in, I want to ask you guys to check out the channel and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. But let's go ahead and see what we're playing with. Okay, so let's just go ahead and jump into our profile. So starting off with the main deck, we do play the three copies of Marion Edder. So this is going to be your simple Alter Geist lineup, three Marion Edder. And then followed by that, we play the three copies of Multifaker. Shouldn't come as a surprise there. The three copies of Melusik, two copies of Silk, and your one horse. I mean, what can I really say here? This shouldn't come off as a surprise at all. This is the same Alter Geist lineup you see in any deck, so this lineup will most likely never change. Next, we play some hand traps. We play three copies of Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring. So, this is your best hand trap in the deck because it's one of your only ones if you don't count Infinite and Permanence. This is the only one I decided to play because I feel this is just the most versatile. We're still figuring out the format, but with Dragon Link going rapid after the extravaganza, I think it was the extravaganza, it was either that or the luxury championship, uh, Ash just proves to hit everything, so we're out here trying to stop cards from searching or summoning, and Ash is just the best at it. So that's actually just going to go ahead and do it for the monsters with me, just 15 monsters in the main deck. And then for spells, I play three copies of, pot of extravagance, so if you have Pot of Prosperity, play that. I don't have it, so I'm just playing my extravagances, and it still works that way. I mean, it's still nice to draw too. I feel like when you're playing it in this deck, it's mainly fine over Prosperity because you really just want to get that extra card. Sure, you get to pick whatever cards you banish with Prosperity, but I'd rather get the draw too, in my opinion, because we're trying to dig deep. I mean, sometimes you do need a draw for that one card you need, but not in your first turn. Like this going first is perfect going second is still good but i just like the three extravagance and then for traps we're going to be starting off with three copies of crackdown this is just so that way we can build into our extra deck crackdown helps you get into a lot of cards in the extra deck so that way you can stop your opponent or whatever they may throw at you so three of those and it's nice to get your opponent off guard too by taking their monster because not a lot of people play crackdown anymore but I do still like it, and I think it's better in this deck with a new format. Three copies of Strike, because this is still one of the better cards in the format, and especially when you go first. What can you say? It's good going first and second, so that's why it's important to play three Strike. And then we play three copies of Infinite Impermanence. Shouldn't come as a surprise there, because this plus Multifaker is good on your turn zero. And then arguably the best trap in the deck is three copies of Torrential. So what I like about Torrential is that it's just able to wipe any board and then you trigger your faker on resolution and then your opponent deals with nothing or the, your opponent has nothing and then you just have everything so definitely play three torrential it's key and then for two of traps i play two copies of storm duster just because we are going to be seeing a lot of eldritch most likely and then this hurts everything against rogue too like this hurts against the mirror and it's good against the guru deck so definitely a key to play two duster just in case. Uh, two copies of different dimension ground. This against Dragon Link just kind of ends their turn. So you definitely want to be able to pull this off. And I've been really liking this card a lot in the format. And then I play some Altergeist traps. I still only like two spoofing. I never really want to play three, so two is fine. Uh, two protocol, one manifestation, shouldn't come as a surprise. And then since I'm only playing three spells, I am playing the Imperial Order in the main deck as well. But yeah, that's going to go ahead and wrap off the main deck, even 40. Okay, and then for the extra deck, we play the one copy of All Mirage and one copy of Anima. Debatably, you could play two Anima or three Anima even and get rid of the All Mirage altogether. But I do like having the five uh, Link 1s in the extra deck, just in case you banish one or two of them off of Extravagance. So, in that being said, we play the three copies of Link Karibo. This could arguably be two Karibo, two Anima, and one All Mirage. But... Uh, you can honestly cut the Almirage 2 and just play the 2 and 3 if you want. 
but it's all just preference. I do like three Link Rebo still. And then we are still playing three Hexia because it's your best card in the extra deck. Just having that extra form of negation for spells and traps is really good. And it also helps you OTK depending on how you open. And then I'm also playing Geonator Transverser. This is a really cool card. And if people don't know what this does, figure it out because this card is really insane in the new format because everyone's going to be playing Dragoon and this is your main out to Dragoon. So what it does, if it's linked up in the zone and then whatever it's pointing to, you can go ahead and take control of and it doesn't target. So this literally steals Dragoon and then you have a Dragoon on your turn and it doesn't negate their effects, I don't believe. So Transversor does not negate their effects either. It's just as where uh, there's a monster here and there's a monster there. You just switch. So it's like a creature swap. So it's really good. So please, if you're not playing it, play it. And then we play the full Nightmare Package, one Cerberus, one Phoenix, and one Unicorn because these cards are crazy. And if you side Nibiru, then you can definitely use the Cerberus for that. And then I play one copy of Ningirsu. This is also another Alta Dragoon, and you just make it with ease in this deck because you go into your Hexia, you just summon like a Link Rebo or something. Uh, it's really freaking good. And then I play one Boral Sword Dragon because this helps you kill your opponent. And just because I have the room, I play one Axis Code Talker as well. That's going to go ahead and do it for the deck profile today. And yeah, guys, that's it. So thank you for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please give it a thumbs up if you like the new update. Uh, I've seen a lot of people playing the Dogmatic uh, Altergeist list. I don't own any of those cards, but even if I did, I think it's trash. So I've seen a lot of people play Dogmatic uh, uh, Altergeist, and I think just the combination is just really weird with me. I don't really like the idea of it. Punishment is a hell of a card, but I just don't think you need it in Altergeist because the extra deck's too important. And it's also a good budget option if you don't have the Dogmatic cards. So don't feel like you have to use them to make the deck real because it is still a real deck, and it's something you should be terrified of. But yeah, guys, I really did hope you enjoyed this update. So until next time, this has been Papa, and I will catch you all in my next video. Take care, everyone.